Hey, this is Shashank Jani here, and we are continuing our learning with part six of markup or margin management in learning, buying, and merchandising. If you haven't yet seen the videos on initial markup, please see part five. As a reminder, this and other videos are recordings from a live virtual boot camp that we conducted. Now we are going to discuss the topic of cumulative markup. So let's start. Okay. So next up we have um, cumulative markup. So let's begin by discussing what we mean by cumulative markup. Uh, now cumulative markup can be considered an average markup. It is, uh, we're discussing this separately because it is the, the way it's calculated as an average markup is different. Uh, initially, we were calculating average markup as looking for a balance of something, right? Or we were trying to average the total retail cost or trying to average the total retail. Here, we're looking at the markup after a certain set of purchases have been received during a specific period. So we start on one day and then 15 days later, we make more purchases or what's the markup between the two? That's what we are doing. And this is calculated either uh, mostly from a season to date basis. Uh, it's an average percentage figure. Uh, and it basically shows the markup that is accumulated over a certain period of time. <clears throat> now, uh, description of this says that cumulative dollar markup is the difference between total delivered cost and total price of all merchandise handled during a given period. Right, so you add up everything and then you divide those two from each other because it's an average markup. All right, so uh, think of it as this way, right? Cumulative dollar retail is the beginning inventory plus any extra receipts that were accumulated in this season. So cumulative markup percentage, what's the formula? Well, it's cumulative markup divided by cumulative retail. That's very difficult to understand. So let's look at an example to see what we mean. So case, uh, case in point here, a shoe department showed an opening inventory of $80,000 at retail with a markup of 48%. During the month, purchases were received in the amount of 30,000 at cost and were marked up at 52%. Find the cumulative markup for the department. So here's what we need to find. We need to find the total merchandise that was handled during a season, right? And, or during a month, in this case, it's a month. And we need to find out what is the markup percentage that has been accumulated through that month, okay? So let's begin by considering first, what is our opening inventory value at? Well, our opening inventory started at $80,000 at retail, and was marked up at 48%. So very simple way to calculate, right? Take our 80,000, multiply it by the 52% that is left over, that's the cost percentage, and we get our 41,600. That's our cost value. Next is we take our, what we purchased. So we purchased 30,000, um, we purchased goods worth 30,000 at cost, and they were marked up at 52%. So 30,000 uh, divided by 52% gives us our 62,500. Okay, so now we add up the figures. 80,000 plus 62,500, 142,500. That's the total merchandise valued at retail. Same thing for cost, 41,600 plus 30,000. That's the total merchandise handled at cost, 71,600. So now, we take our total, uh, we take our markup, which is 142,500 uh, minus 71,600 divided by cumulative retail, 142,500, giving us our 49.75. Okay. So here's the explanation. Now what I want is I want a volunteer. So anyone, could you raise your hand? I'd like a volunteer. Anyone? 
don't worry, this is not an examination. We're not going to fail you. We're not going to kick you out of the course because you, you failed to put your hand up or you gave the wrong answer. We just like a volunteer. Anyone? How about I just pick someone? Uh, let's do... Kritika, are you with us? Kritika Taneja? Hi, yes. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Kritika. How are you doing? Kritika, are you, are you okay? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can, I can. I, I'll move to a quieter place. Just a I, 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 I can hear you. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me know when you're back. We'll wait just a couple of minutes while Kritika gets um, gets into a quieter place. But in the meantime, any questions regarding cumulative markup? Why are we doing cumulative markup? What's the point of it? No questions? I must be a really good facilitator if I have no questions this entire time. Wow. Thank you, guys. Okay, Kritika, are we ready? Are you, are you ready? Okay, Kritika, what we'll do is we'll, we'll hold you to it. We'll just come back in just a minute. So question to anyone else from the group. Um, what we're going to do now is we, we, I'm going to show you uh, a question. In this particular case, let's do question number two. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer question number one, uh, and I'm going to show you how to do this in the Excel sheet so it's easy to understand. And then what I'd like is one of you to explain uh, question number two to me, okay, uh, using the Excel. So I'm going to open up uh, the cumulative markup section. All right. So let's go here, right? So on May 1st, Children's Department and opening inventory of, uh, oops, this is the wrong way. This is at cost, right? So what's one with detail? Okay, here we go. So on August 1st, the Home Furnishing Department, this is question number three. Home Furnishing Department showed an opening inventory of 192 at retail uh, with a markup of 54%. So that's 192,000. And uh, it was marked up at 54%. And purchases were made at 59.048. And they were marked up at 60%. So in this case, what's the cumulative markup percent? Cumulative markup percent in this case is 56.61. Okay, easy to understand. Well, let's take a similar question. Do we have one? Okay, yeah, question number five. Could someone explain question number five to me? Anyone? How, how, what is the, try, let's try to find the answer to this. So I'm gonna delete all of these figures. So someone can explain to me, anyone? Question number five. July 1st, the Housewares Department showed an opening inventory of how much? $90,000. Very good. $90,000. All right. What was it marked up at? 54%. Okay. Very good. Next up. Purchases were made during the month of? 40,000. Okay. Good. 40,000. And they were marked up at? 51. 51. Perfect. So what's our cumulative markup? 
52.57. Okay. So what do we learn? What do we learn from this particular statement? 52.57. What does this mean? Is there a point to it's this? Cumulative point? markup. Yeah, it is cumulative markup. But what does that mean? What does it mean that this is cumulative markup? Is because in both the uh, like uh, in uh, open inventory, our cost was different, and at, uh, and while buying, our cost was different. So altogether, an average of both of them is giving us a, uh, a cumulative markup. Right. Very good. Right. So just because we failed to reach our target markup percentage um, when we made our uh, we made, not when the opening inventory, when we made the purchase during the season, right? During the month of July. Because of that, our markup has significantly dropped. Maybe our goal was 54% throughout the month, right? And our initial markup goal was 54%. But because we've lowered the amount of markup that we made on our order, the overall markup that we ended up achieving was less than our goal, 52.57. So question to the group, how can we fix this? How can we make this 52.57 higher? What's the one thing you can change in this formula to make the cumulative markup go up? So that we reach, let's say we want to reach our 54%. We want to get close to our 54%. We reduce the cost of our purchase if like, so at the time of buy, if like we buy uh, uh, a less uh, expensive merchandise and not on the higher price, then that's how we can increase our markup. Very good. Number one, right? That's one very practical way to do so, right? Which is reduce the cost value of what we're purchasing. That kind of pushes up the markup uh, overall that we're getting. What's another easier way? Or I would say not easier, but a more simpler uh, setup to do. What else can we raise in this equation? The markup percentage on the purchase. Very good, right? If we simply increase the markup percentage, <laughs> it's very funny that I'm just saying simply increase the percentage. It's not that simple, right? But uh, if we could, right? That would be the biggest, um, uh, it, it would be the big single biggest influencer to increasing our cumulative markup. Obviously. In fact, if we just make this 54, the cumulative markup increases by 54%, right? Obviously that's a, a bit of a reach. That's never gonna be the case. Our uh, purchases might, uh, markup value might increase or decrease in the season. And we generally would like to have an increase so that let's say, for example, we make this 58% it's marked up at, um, we ended up retailing more value than what our original inventory was retailed at. And we get an overall increase in the cumulative markup. Easy to understand? Okay, so. Let's uh, Rishav, I just have one doubt. Yeah. So average markup and cumulative markup, how are they different? Is it just because of the opening stock value that we have? So yeah, so generally um, when we're looking at uh, average markup, so when we're looking at average, cumulative markup is an average, okay, think of it this way. All cumulative markup is average markup, but not all average markup is cumulative markup. Does that make sense? Right? Yes, because uh, of the additional purchases that we are making, right? Exactly, right? Okay. Um, the, the reason why is in average markup, you may have already made purchases, um, let's say on day one, but it doesn't meet your requirement. Let's say you are planning to hit a certain sales goal or a certain, yes, yeah, total sales goal, retail value goal that you want to hit. But you made purchases that are maybe half of that value. Well, you need to fill that up, but this time the vendor doesn't give you the, the value that you're looking for, right? They might pump up the price they might reduce the overall margin or markup that you're getting on those products. Well, that's how average margin comes into play. Whereas with cumulative, you already have an opening inventory, which is, let's say from the previous month, you had sales move over to the next month. That becomes your opening inventory. Not sales, you have 
uh, products that were that didn't sell in the previous month coming over to this month and now you've purchased more stock to add to that value that's where cumulative markup comes into play does that make sense yes understood thank you hope you've enjoyed this video in the next video we will discuss maintained markup join us for a free webinar to learn more about buying and merchandising the link is given in the description below check it out see you soon